You are most welcome, dear grade 12 students, to this video, which is about the speaking of module 8b, student book page 121 and page 164. In today's video, we will first uh, distinguish between arguments for and arguments against a given statement. We will generate supporting details for and against these arguments. Also, we will present arguments and supporting details to try to win the opponents over to your point of view. Uh, now, please um, take two or three minutes to think of answers to these two questions. The first is, how do you keep in touch with friends? Okay, pause now, think of an answer. Okay, done. These are some of the most common ways to keep in touch with friends. So, some of you may say, I try to figure out what my friends need from me. I set parameters about how I will keep in touch. Then I either pay them visits, right? Agree to hang out with them call them on phone or just write them emails. Some of you may add, I remind my friends that I think about them all the time. I also tell them why they are special to me and why their friendship is just one of a kind. I also share things about myself with them I like their comments, I follow them on social media, etc. Right? The second question, have you made any friendship online? And how are these friendships different from real life friendships? Take two or three minutes, think of the answer, generate your ideas, brainstorm this question and speak your answer out because this is a speaking video. Okay, come to this model. Some of you may say, yes, I have made a few friends online. An online friend is someone you know is available every time you see that little green dot next to their name. So you write them and say, hello. Sometimes it's possible to have an online best friend who you've never met before, but who keeps you company when you are bored or when you are in an urgent need of help. So you talk to each other, perhaps every other day. You have inside jokes. You may think about going to visit them wherever they live. On the contrary, real life friends keep you company when they can or when they are not busy. They usually have other things to do, and you don't always know what they are doing or when they are busy or free. You can make plans with your real life friends for tea or brunch. Even if you talk to your real life friend online, you know they are a real friend, no matter what. Now please uh, read the following statement, okay? and find the key words in it. Social media is having a positive effect on our friendships. Really, we are talking about social media, right? Um, the positive effect on what? On friendships. Now think of an answer to this big question. What effect do you think social media has on our friendships? Again, pause for one or two minutes think of an answer and speak it out. Okay, now ready? Some of you may say that a big positive associated with social media is that it's easier to make many friends within a short time. Just a few years ago, it wasn't easy to connect with many people until and unless you were extremely outgoing friendly and sociable, and could make uh, conversations with almost anyone you would just meet. Okay, 
On the other hand, social media also can put negative pressure on friendships, especially when one friend is very active about posting pictures, status updates, and opinions that may hurt others. Okay, um, I'd like to attract your attention to a point concerning pronunciation of uh, this letter right here, the S. Okay, when it is uh, located after a voiceless sound, a voiceless consonant, it is pronounced S. So you say friendships. Okay, whereas here it is located after a voiced consonant. So it is pronounced in the phoneme Z. Friends. Okay, let's continue. Now please go to page 164. Okay, read the arguments from 1 to 10 and determine which ones are for and which are against. Write F for for and write A for against, next to each other. Okay, you've got this big title over there. Social media is having a positive effect on our friendships. Okay, um, again, please, um, since this video aims at developing our speaking, um, I would like to attract your attention to pronouncing this word correctly. Don't say social, because it's social. Again, social. And this word, don't say effect, because it's effect. The stress is on the second syllable, on the f. So say effect. Okay? Social media is having a positive effect on our friendships. Now, let's go to our exercise. Uh, please pause the video for five minutes, read these statements, and here you are some uh, synonyms to help you, and a picture also. Okay, decide the five statements which are for, and the other five which are against, Give yourself uh, points out of 10. Okay. Ready? Here you are the five statements which are for and the other five which are against. How many points did you take? Great. Now we will take each of these statements and elaborate on them, develop them into uh, larger ideas. Okay. Please follow. Since you need to develop your speaking in order to pass your IELTS test, in order to communicate with people fluently, in order to pass interviews, to join a college or to take a job, then try to produce as many meaningful sentences as possible to support each of the uh, positive effects social media has on friendship. This is the first one. It's easier to keep in touch with and maintain existing friendships. Okay, pause, take one minute, and then come to this model. You know, um, take, for example, um, the old school friends. The way I see it, if it wasn't for social media, I would probably have lost contact with many of the people I used to go to school with before moving to my new neighborhood. How about yours? Again, take your time, um, elaborate on these two points, expand these ideas, speak them out, and then come to this model. For number two, people are more connected than ever to friends via constant updates about their lives. That's very true. We always know what people are doing through all the comments, pictures, and videos people post. It makes us feel more included in people's lives. Okay, how about number three? Geographical barriers to friendships are removed. Okay, social media doesn't know 
geographical barriers. It is common knowledge that even if we live far and seldom speak or meet up, we still have that strong connection with our friends, which is so important. I think that social media has enabled us to form friendships with people all over the world in a way that wasn't possible in the past. Having friendships from different countries helps us broaden our minds and exposes us to different cultures and ways of thinking. Um, excuse me, one more point concerning pronunciation. Please don't say comments, say comments. Say no comment. Don't say no comment, okay? Comments. Thank you. Let's continue. Again, please take time to work on these last two points and then come to this model. As for number four, an instant communication with friends 24 seven. Some may say, I think the fact that we can uh, contact friends any time of the day or night and that our messages are received instantly, which means directly, is positive, as it means we can get hold of friends around the clock. As for number five, people form friendships online with others who have similar interests, right? Some may say the main point we should make in support here is that it is now much easier to form friendships with those who have similar interests. This is important for a lot of people, but it isn't always that easy to find and make friends with people who enjoy doing exactly the same things as we do, especially if we are interested in a hobby that isn't very popular, right? Uh, dear students, if you have arguments, okay, and you want to present them, you can simply use one of these uh, phrases or more to help you. We often see that, etc. One argument is, another reason is that, so and so, generally speaking, the main advantage is, or the main disadvantage is, uh, most importantly, and then you continue. It is common knowledge that so and so. And if you want to emphasize, to stress, to focus on a specific point, you can say um, especially, extremely, particularly. Something of great importance is the fact that, and then you continue, I would like to emphasize that so and so, or I must stress the fact that so and so. So if you have arguments and you want to present them, you can use some of these phrases. And if you want to emphasize or stress a specific point, you can use some of these phrases, okay? Now I'm going to let you work on the negative effects of social media on friendships. Um, do the same. Read um, each point, okay, elaborate on them, generate your own ideas, speak your ideas out, or even you can write them down to develop um, writing. And then I let you read the models here to develop reading. So I want you to develop both speaking, reading and writing at the same time which is more than super for you, okay? Do it. And then continue. For points number three and four, generate your ideas, speak them out, read the points right here. Okay. Here you are the last point. Okay, work on it. This is a model. The last point is, I'm going to present you some phrases you can use in order to win the other person over to your point of view. 
in order to acknowledge another person's argument, to accept his argument, but at the same time, you make a counter argument. You say, I don't disagree, which means I agree with you. However, okay, that's a good point, but, and then you give him the counter argument. So these phrases help you acknowledge, accept another person's argument, and then you take him to a counter argument. And we are going to study an example right now. Here you are the example, read it carefully, and then the counter argument. Okay. Then take some of the previous arguments we have studied today and make counter arguments so as to develop the skill of winning the opponent over. Okay, take your time to work on this. Uh, my dear students, in this video we have studied how to identify arguments for or against a topic. Mm, we've studied how to develop these arguments by justifying and giving examples. We've studied how to present arguments, acknowledge others' argument, and make counter arguments, right? Thank you so much for watching this video, which will be available on Microsoft Teams.